Bane Adventure, Part 2. Episode, Hunting for Feral Goat and Chamois. The hunt is on. This time, our hunt takes us to richly diverse Spain, more precisely to the Lower Pyrenees. We are hunting for feral goats and chamois. As night gives way to day, we have already taken up a promising position to scan the rock faces. The hunt was organized by European Outfitting, and today we are accompanied by our friend Ignacio from Great European Hunts. Once again, he has organized everything to perfection. Manolo, the local professional hunter, was able to spot a pack of feral goats early on. In the middle of the cliffs, however, there was no chance of a shot, because if the trophy falls, it could be damaged. So we drive around them and speculate that the goats will also move out to the other side of the rock face to graze. And fortunately for us, they do. They are now in the forest. Yeah. Which one we shoot? Both, either one. Both are very big, I would shoot two of them. So as not to waste any precious time, our record-breaking hunter doesn't hesitate and immediately searches for a good shooting position. Just in the nick of time, our hunter finds an advantageous shooting position. The gun is already in position, and Amon Amon is just making the final fine adjustments. I will try the brown one. Unbelievable. Our hunter takes his chance and actually hits the bullseye at 810 yards.
A magnificent buck is in front of us. Amon Amon has once again managed to take the only opportunity that came his way in spectacular fashion. Good hunting. Phenomenal. Ich bin happy. Ja. Amon, Amon. So, ich habe mich heute für dieses Gewehr entschieden, hier in den Bergen von Pyrenäen. Auf Gamsjagd und den Feral Goat. Das ist ein Best of the West Rifle aus Amerika, Custom Rifle. Mit einem Haskamau Optik drauf, in Kaliber 6.5 PAC. Der Turm ist abgestimmt auf der Munition äh, von Horne, die ELD Match. Das hat sich wieder heute bewiesen und hat eine super Wirkung sogar auf 810 Yard gehabt. Ist super leicht, wiegt mit Glas etwa 3,2 Kilogramm oder 3,1. Da habe ich hier extra noch mal eine Bindungsbremse von Terminator drauf gehabt. Da schießt man viel, viel angenehmer und auch auf weite Distanzen mit großer Magnification, Vergrößerung. Da kann man auch im Ziel bleiben und das ist sehr, sehr wichtig bei langen Schüssen. Und da kann man sofort korrigieren. Ich bin sehr, sehr happy und sehr zufrieden mit diesem Gewehr. Das wird nicht meine letzte Jagd mit diesem Gewehr sein. We watched the vultures for a while before continuing our stalk. With the light still good, we finally come back to the spot from which we spotted the feral goats in the middle of the rock face this morning. And indeed, the herd moves back to its refuge. But this time, at the upper end of the rock face. So a shot becomes feasible. No time to lose now. Maybe a firing opportunity will actually arise. Yet, yet. Is it us? Yeah, that's Isa. Yeah, boy. With another precise shot at 500 yards, our hunter manages to bag another strong buck. Felipe and Ignacio retrieve the feral goat before we continue our stalk of the chamois.
despite the really bad weather, we still spotted plenty of chamois. But unfortunately, only herds of females or bucks that were too young. Just as we were giving up hope, our hunter spotted a movement out of the corner of his eye. And in the last light of day, standing right in front of us, is the perfect chamois buck. And once again, our hunter succeeds in landing a perfect shot. We take a few more pictures and review the whole experience. In a few hours, the alarm clock will ring again and wake us up for the next hunt. Unfortunately, the weather is not ideal again today. Nevertheless, Manolo manages to spot a strong chamois buck in a patch of forest. As so often in hunting, things are once again moving quickly. The tension is rising. Luis from Sane Consult constantly gives our hunter the correct wind conditions. There is a problem. The sun is so low that our hunter is being dazzled to a degree that prevents him from taking a safe shot. Ignacio is finally able to solve this problem with his hands. Amon Amon shows some real nerve again, and the chamois buck immediately collapses. This big chamois buck marks the end of our successful hunt for feral goats and chamois. We are already looking forward to Amon Amon's next adventure.